The Study on Global Aging and Adult Health is run by the World Health Organization. An objective for SAGE is to compile comprehensive longitudinal data on the health and well-being of adult populations and the aging process across different countries, through primary data collection, secondary data analysis and cross-study collaborations. SAGE baseline data Wave 0, 2002 was collected as part of WHO's World Health Survey WHS. A second round of data collection wave 1, 2007 is completed, expanding the sample sizes in each participating country China, Ghana, India, Mexico, the Russian Federation and South Africa. Wave 2 2014 data collection was completed in 2015. Wave 3 has been implemented in 2017-19. Topic: Sage Wave Zero, 2002-04. A baseline cohort for the six participating countries was created as part of the larger World Health Survey effort and contains data on the situation of 65,964 adults aged 18 years and older, including over 20,000 persons aged 50 years and older. Samples of these respondents were followed up as a part of SAGE Wave 1 2007 data collection in four of the six SAGE countries Ghana, India, Mexico and the Russian Federation. Meta and micro data are in the public domain through WHO at http colon slash slash apps dot who dot int slash health info slash systems slash survey data slash index dot php slash catalog slash whs dot topic Sage Wave One two thousand seven tenths Weighted data for China, Ghana, India, Mexico, Russian Federation and South Africa are in the public domain see study on global aging and adult health. SAGE's first full round of data collection included both follow-up and new respondents in four participating countries. The goal of the sampling design was to obtain a nationally representative cohort of persons aged 50 years and older, with a smaller cohort of persons aged 18 to 49 for comparison purposes. The target sample size was 5,000 households with at least one person aged 50 plus years and 1,000 households with an 18 to 49 year old respondent. In the older households, all persons aged 50 plus years, for example, spouses and siblings, were invited to participate. Proxy respondents were identified for respondents who were unable to respond for themselves. The pooled data set will include over 43,000 respondents. See table below. Topic Data collected, Wave 1 Standardized SAGE survey instruments were used in all countries consisting of five main parts, 1 household questionnaire, 2 individual questionnaire, 3 proxy questionnaire, 4 verbal autopsy questionnaire, and 5 appendices including showcards. A question-by-question -question guide survey manual is available. A VAQ was completed for deaths in the household over the last 24 months. The procedures for including country-specific adaptations to the standardized questionnaire and translations into local languages from English follow those developed by and used for the World Health Survey. Descriptive results from SAGE Wave 1 are available through a U.S. Census Bureau, WHO Report Shades of Grey, a cross-country study of health and well-being of the older populations in SAGE countries, 2007–2010.
Background information on SAGE is also available through Koval P., Chatterjee S., Naidu N., Baritwam R., Wu Fan, Lopez Ridora R., Maximova T., Arokiasami P., Faswana Mafuya N., Peltzer K., Williams S., Snodgrass J. J., Minikuchi N., Dest C., Borma J. T., and the SAGE collaborators. Data Resource Profile, the WHO Study on Global Aging and Adult Health SAGE. Int J. Epidemiol. 2012, 41 6, 1639–49. SAGE Wave 2, 2014–15 Data collection for Sage Wave 2 was completed in 2015 in all Sage countries, except the Russian Federation, who are planning to complete implementation in line with Sage Wave 3 for the other participating countries. Topic: <laughs> Sage Wave 3, 2017-19. Data for Sage Wave 3 in China, Ghana, India, Mexico and South Africa will be available in 2019. Topic: <laughs> Links to other studies. Sage adapted methods and instruments used by the WHS and or from 16 surveys on aging including the US Health and Retirement Survey hours and the UK English Longitudinal Study of Aging ELSA to collect household data on persons aged 50 years and older in over 20 countries as well as fostering links to other data collection efforts such as the study on health aging and retirement in Europe share the Chinese Health and Retirement Survey Charles, the Longitudinal Aging Study in India Lassie. An R21-funded effort, SAGE Plus Wave 1 which harmonized data from SAGE, ours, ELSA and SHARE, resulted in a first publication in 2016. Minikuchi N, Naidu N, Chatterjee S, Koval P Data Resource Profile, Cross National and Cross Study Sociodemographic and Health Related Harmonized Domains from Sage Plus Elsa, Hours and Share, Sage Plus, Wave 1 Int J Epidemiol. 2016. Nia Grant R21 AG034263. SAGE-like surveys have been conducted as the World Health Survey Plus WHS Plus in the Gulf Cooperation Council countries, as a short version of SAGE in eight demographic surveillance field sites in depth, as a full SAGE in three in-depth field sites, and, as Courage in Europe in three European countries. SAGE Tunisia was completed in 2016. Sage Al Ain UAE started interviews in April 2017. Sage Mongolia is completed in 2018. Topic Sage Salt and Tobacco Nested Sub Study in Sage Ghana and Sage South Africa Waves 2 and 3 A goal of this sub study is to monitor change in cardiovascular outcomes associated with salt reduction, including blood pressure, and examine tobacco consumption levels and patterns. One wave of spot and 24-hour urine capture plus urinary sodium and potassium measurements was completed as part of WHO's SAGE Wave 2 in Ghana and South Africa. A follow-up wave of urine capture will be nested within SAGE Wave 3 Incorporation of the gold standard measure of salt intake 24 hours urine samples to assess habitual salt consumption and GATS harmonized tobacco questions. Sodium, potassium, iodine and cotinine will be assessed in the urine samples. This sub-study is supported by an agreement with the CDC Foundation with financial support provided by Bloomberg Philanthropies, a Partnerships and Research Development Fund PRDF grant from the Australia-Africa Universities Network, and WHO. 
C. Charlton et al., BMJ Open. 2016, 6 E013316. doi, 10. 1136, BM Jopin 2016-013316. Sage in depth Data for the Summary SAGE module added to in-depth census rounds in 2007 and 2008 wave one is available through WHO SAGE and in-depth. These data include the SAGE Health State Descriptions, WHO Disability Assessment Schedule Version 2 and the WHO Quality of Life 8-item version as measures of health and subjective well-being, linked to selected sociodemographic data from the demographic surveillance field sites in eight countries Bangladesh, Ghana, India, Indonesia, Kenya, South Africa, Tanzania and Vietnam. The sample size is over 46,000 respondents. First results are published as Growing Older in Africa and Asia, Multicenter Study on Aging, Health and Well-Being in the peer-reviewed open access journal, Global Health Action. Wave 2 The in-depth network is responsible for implementing Wave 2. SAGE WAPS HIV study Three waves of the SAGE Well-being of Older People Study WAPS HIV study have been conducted in two countries, South Africa and Uganda, with the goal of providing data on the effects of HIV, AIDS among older people infected or affected by HIV. The aim of this study was to describe the health status, well-being and functional status among older people either infected with HIV themselves, or affected by HIV, AIDS in their families. The impacts of caregiving and art were also examined. Wave 1 was completed in 2010-11 and Wave 2 was completed in 2013. Wave 3 was completed in 2016-17, and Wave 4 will be implemented in 2019. Two papers from Wave 1 results are listed below. Shulton F., Mugisha J., Seely J., Kinyanda E., Nakubukwa S., Koval P., Naidu N., Borma T., Chatterjee S., Grosskirth H. Health and Functional Status Among Older People with HIV, AIDS in Uganda. BMC Pub Health. 2011, 11-886. Nirenda M., Chatterjee S., Falkingham J., Muttavidze P., Hosgood V., Evandrew M., Koval P., Newell M. L. An investigation of factors associated with the health and well-being of HIV-infected and HIV-affected older people in rural South Africa. BMC Pub Health. 2012, 12 to 259. Topic: Direction. WHO Sage consists of Dr. Somnath Chatterjee as Principal Investigator, Dr. Paul Koval as Co-Principal Investigator, Ms. Nirmala Naidu as Co-Pi and Lead Statistician, with regular contributions from other members of whose Department of Health Statistics and Information Systems she Survey teams in each participating country lead the data capture efforts, from data collection to dissemination, and contribute to analysis and manuscript preparation. Wave 1 Country Primary Investigators, Dr. Wu Fan, Shanghai CDC, China, Professor Richard Baritwam, University of Ghana, Ghana, Professor Perianayagam Arokiasami, IIPS, India, Ms. Rosalba Roja, Dr. Rui Lopez Ridora, Dr. Mara Telez Rojo, INSP, Mexico, Dr. Tamara Maximova, Rams, Russian Federation, and Dr. Refilwe Nancy Fa. Aswana Mafuya and Dr. Karl Peltzer, HSRC, South Africa. 
Wave 2 Country Primary Investigators, Dr. Wu Fan, Shanghai CDC, China, Professor Richard Baritwam and Dr. Alfred Yasin, University of Ghana, Ghana, Professor Perianayagam Arokiasami, IIPS, India, Mr. Aaron Salinas Rodriguez and Ms. Betty Soledad Manrique Espinosa, INSP, Mexico, and, Dr. Stephen Rule, Outsourced Insight, South Africa. Wave 3 Country Primary Investigators, Dr. Wu Fan, Shanghai CDC, China, Professor Richard Baritwam and Dr. Alfred Yasin, University of Ghana, Ghana, Professor Perianayagam Arokiasami, IIPS, India, Mr. Aaron Salinas Rodriguez and Ms. Betty Soledad Manrique Espinosa, INSP, Mexico, and, Dr. Stephen Rule, HSRC, South Africa. Topic funding SAGE and SAGE sub-studies are supported by the World Health Organization and the Division of Behavioral and Social Research at the National Institute on Aging U.S. National Institutes of Health, through Interagency Agreements OGHA 0403-4785, YA 1323-08 CN 0020, Y1AG 1005-01 with WHO and a research project grant R01AG034479. NIA BSR has facilitated forums for in-depth discussions about study content, design and implementation. The NIA BSR has been instrumental in promoting linkages between longitudinal studies on aging and adult health around the world. Governments in three countries, China, Mexico and South Africa, provided financial support for SAGE Wave 1. The University of Ghana provided financial and in-kind support. USAID funding contributed to an oversample of adult women in SAGE India Wave 1. The Shanghai Municipal Government provided support for SAGE Wave 2 in China, while the University of Ghana provided financial and in-kind support. Wave 3 is supported through NIA Research Project Grant R01AG034479 and in-kind or financial support from implementing partners in collaborating countries. Seeking co-funding from governments. Sage Salt and Tobacco Sub-Study is supported by an agreement with the CDC Foundation with financial support provided by Bloomberg Philanthropies, a Partnerships and Research Development Fund grant from the Australia-Africa Universities Network, and WHO. The European Commission under 7th Framework Programme has provided financial support to implement a SAGE-like health status, quality of life and well-being study in Europe under the name Collaborative Research on Aging in Europe Courage in Europe. Finland, Poland and Spain implemented the survey in 2010. External links. Study on Global Aging and Adult Health SAGE. African Research on Aging Network AFRAN. Australian Longitudinal Study on Women's Health ALSWH. China Health and Retirement Longitudinal Study Charles. Comparisons of Longitudinal European Studies on Aging CLESA. Costa Rican Study of Longevity and Healthy Aging Dynamic Analyses to Optimize Aging English Longitudinal Study of Aging Global Aging Survey Retirement and Financial Well-Being Study U.S. Health and Retirement Survey in-depth health and demographic surveillance systems for aging and adult health research Japanese study of aging and retirement JSTAR Korean longitudinal study of aging CLOSA longitudinal aging study in India LASI Mexican family life survey MXFLS 
Mexican Health and Aging Study New Zealand Health, Work and Retirement Puerto Rican Elderly, Health Conditions Study on Health, Aging and Retirement in Europe 1066 Dementia Research Group The Irish Longitudinal Study on Aging The Gateway to Global Aging Data Health and Aging in Africa, Longitudinal Studies of In-Depth Communities